All right, Pisces, let's get into a reading. So we're gonna see what's coming out for you. Okay, we're just gonna see what's coming out. I wasn't gonna do this today. I just got home from getting my hair done. And we had had a conversation and I wanted to ask you guys, what would you rather have in your life? A soulmate twin flame, a partner, or a companion? I feel like each one of them's different and I feel like each one of them fits someone differently. So a soulmate twin flame is like one of a kind in my eyes, like almost your perfect match. We're talking the peanut butter to your jelly. And then like companionship kind of reminds me of a dog, someone that you're, you find them and you like them and you're like, you know, I don't want to be alone. So I'm going to find a companion in you. you got a friend in me is what I'm hearing. So someone who's more like a friend that you're dating or deciding to do life with. And then partnership reminds me of people who maybe don't really have emotions involved, but they're choosing that partnership because there is a mutual agreement that it will benefit both of them. Each of you might have a different view on what you feel that term means. So put it down below what you feel the term means and what you would rather have in your life, okay? <clears throat> you could be in a place where you're wanting things to get, to get better. And because of this, you could be taking a lot of action in your life. Some of you could be dyeing your hair red here coming up because she's got red hair. You could be rejecting a lot of offers right now. Offers that you feel lack consistency, stability. If these are lovers and you're single, you're rejecting people that you don't feel can bring you what you want. Yeah, because you feel like a lot of it isn't fair. There's a lot of balance happening in your life. And I see you going after some sort of dream or goal. Do you know what I'm getting? <clears throat> You're about to shock everyone. These people who felt like you had a lot of learning to do, they're about to get their socks blown off. These people who felt like you were very childlike and almost naive are about to get their socks knocked off. I feel like there's a lot of justice taking place in your life. So what does that mean to me? Where you're giving your time and attention, it's going to grow. And I think you've really recognized that if something doesn't grow with your time and your attention, it's wasted time, it's wasted attention. Are you going to water a flower that does not want to grow? It don't matter how much you water it, it ain't going to grow. No, you're not. Because you're going to recognize that there's nothing wrong with you. You tried to water it, it didn't want to grow. That's between it and God. It's got to figure that out. And you could be feeling like that when it comes to a business, when it comes to a relationship, when it comes to a career, when it comes to life in general. You could be feeling like, I'm going to reject anything that does not feel fair, that does not bring me peace, that does not feel balanced. And because you have that mindset, so much is changing for you. A lot of people could be even shocked by your vulnerability. A lot of people could be shocked that they're allowed to see this side of you, a side of you that maybe you've kept to yourself, a side of you that you've healed, you've healed, but you've also protected. Some of you could be introverts and you're getting more in an energy of being an extrovert. There's three majors in a row. So that tells me as a reader that there has been a huge shift in your life here recently that the universe has brought in. I feel all of these cards are looking in different directions. So I feel that it could be something you didn't see coming, but you knew you had it in you. You knew you had it in you to put a stop to what no longer served you. You knew you had it in you to no longer accept these breadcrumb offers. These people who wanna offer love but aren't really offering love at all. These jobs who wanna make promises they can't keep. Really taking confident action. You're showing up as a dragon in this reading. So that's mystical. That's also a fighting energy. That's the energy of I don't want to fight, but know that I breathe fire when I do get ready to fight. You're a fighter. <clears throat> there could be someone in your external environment that's hoping that you still feel the same for them. 
This person is recognizing that they did not compromise with you. They're recognizing that they have not told you truths that they know they need to tell you. They keep telling themselves that they're not going to regret it, that it's going to be okay. It, it's going to be fine. I'm not going to miss it. But what I'm hearing play in my head is you're going to miss this. You're going to want it back. You're going to wish those days hadn't gone by so fast. So someone here could just be kind of wasting time, wasting hours. And they're not taking action towards you. But they could be secretly hoping that you haven't changed your feelings, that you haven't let go. Because you're their favorite person to daydream about. And I think you've even shocked this person. <clears throat> Give me more. A lot of people could be shocked on how vicious you are able to become when you feel that you've been hurt or wronged. There could be a lot of people who feel like that's a very toxic side of you. You know the saying, everybody wants to talk about how you react. Nobody wants to talk about what made you react that way. There could be a lot of people who are <clears throat> really shocked by the way that you're showing up in your life. They feel that you're being very rigid. They feel that you're almost being toxic. These could be people who feel that you're saying something to them when you have no right to say that. These could be people who feel like you're the kind of person who just cuts people off because you have that right with no, no reasoning behind it. Someone here is shocked by your behavior. And I feel it's because they've seen a side of you that they don't like. It's a side of you that's had to come out and go, okay, wait a second. I need to protect myself because something here makes me feel on high alert. Something here doesn't make me feel right. Now, this could be a boss who's like, okay, not only did you not respect us enough to give us two weeks, you just walked the fuck out the door. Yeah, I did because this is toxic as hell and I'm not dealing with it. That's your energy. Respect is given where res respect is given where it's earned. And it's like someone has wanted you to act in a certain way. And now they're really shocked because you're acting out of character. But I feel what they don't want to acknowledge, as I was about to say that, the five of air, is that there is something that they've done that has made you act out of character. Something they've said, a way that they've showed up, a behavior that you've seen. A lot of people could be viewing you as someone who, again, I'm in it for what I want. I'm taking hearts and I'm getting names later. But remember that a lot of people who have that vision tend to project their instability onto you. So if someone sees you as an unstable person, you're toxic as hell. You're so toxic that you only get what you can from people and you cut them off. It could be true. Ask yourself, is that true? And if in your mind, okay, that's not my truth, maybe they're projecting. Maybe that's a side of them that they're scared is going to come out with someone that they like or someone that they love. Maybe they have this personality to where they expect people to deal with certain things that should never be dealt with. And if you don't deal with it, if you don't accept it, oh, well, you just gave up on us. This could be that family member or that lover or that friend who's like, well, you're so toxic because your, your tendency is to walk away, okay? But maybe you have the mindset of, okay, well, I don't do that unconditional love. I don't do that love where you can talk to me however you want, bash me, and then talk to me good behind closed doors and act like everything's hunky-dory. Blood ain't everything. Love ain't everything. That's your energy. And someone could be really shocked around the fact that you are protecting yourself when they feel you shouldn't be. I would even go as far to say that someone feels that you protecting yourself is toxic. <clears throat> there is someone here that could be wanting to reach out to you. This could be someone who tried to keep you stuck. Someone who could have fed you illusions or lies. This person could be watching you glow 
grow, expand, and it could be making them feel very unstable and unsturdy, okay? I feel that this is someone that you once had in your life where it was not a healthy dynamic. So it's either a friendship, a family member, or a lover who has recently heard that you're doing well. They've recently heard or they've seen that you've been taking action. You're cutting people off. You're going after your justice. You're pouring into yourself. And again, you're at the place where you're like, I'm going to pour into this flower, but I'm going to give you a week to bloom flower. And if you don't, I'm out. You've learned your lesson. And it could be around this person as well. Hearing that you've moved on. Hearing that there's balance happening in your life. Hearing that you've healed. And they could be feeling a certain type of way about it. This person could be wanting to, like, offer you something. This could be someone who's wanting to get back in your good graces, but they don't know how. So, again, if someone here has the perspective that you were toxic and you cut them off and you, 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 you did something. That's their perspective. They could want you guys to be friends again, be family members like you used to be again, be in love again. But they still feel that you showed up in a toxic way. They still feel that you are willing to step on toes to get you to where you need to go with no regard to anyone else. And I feel that it's because you will take action in a way that they're not comfortable doing. I'm getting that for whoever this is, you don't see a way to fix this. This is someone who wants to get back in your good graces, but this is someone who kind of sees you as a threat. And I think your intuitions know, I think your intuition is telling you this. Your intuition could be telling you that there is someone that's jealous of your success, your stability. It could be a foundation that you have if you're married with children or animals and there's a way that your life is perceived by this person. It could bring out insecurity in them. And they could want to meet up, link up, be best friends, be back in your life. But what's going well in your life could also put a spotlight on what's not going well in theirs. And I think that's going to be an issue in your guys' dynamic is that they don't see you as inspiration. They see you as what they can't be, what they'll never be instead of feeling inspired by you. And again, there's just, there's something here where someone perceives the other person's behavior as selfish. As me, 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 me. You'll step on people's toes to get you to where you want to go. Then why do you want to be with them? Why do you want to be their friend? Why don't, why is that? I want to know why. Because if that's how they perceive you, why would they want to be in your life? That makes no sense to me. There could be wisdom here that this person's not gained about this relationship. They could be seeing it from a very narrow point of view. We can sit here all day and point at someone and say, oh my God, so-and-so selfish. Okay, I guarantee someone's pointed at you and said you're selfish. We can all be selfish. We can all have these abilities to be giving and loving and the ability to be selfish assholes. If you line up 10 people that I know, even if I've known them around the same time frame, each one of them is going to give you a different version of me. There are going to be some people who tell you how much they hate me and that they wouldn't save my life if it depended on it, and I'd believe them. And there's going to be some people who tell you that I'm the sweetest thing they've ever met. And it's going to be really hard for those people who know the sweet version of me to be able to be like, oh, wait, there's a version of you like that? There's no way. Because not every person gets the same version of you. And it's like this person's not fully grasped the lesson around this relationship with you. They want to point the finger. This is toxic. This could be a trauma bond for some of you. A little bit of like, I mean, I'm, um, it's like this person wants, if this is a friend or a family member, this is, it could be a lover. This is someone who will, like wants your approval but also gets triggered when you give them your approval. It's a really weird energy. <clears throat> I see you taking a leap or a risk here coming up. I see you completing a cycle. 
So a lot of the action you're going to be taking here coming up around your dreams, around what you're wishing and hoping to come to life, this could be a baby. This could be working on your physique to where you can walk around naked if they allowed you. This could be being vulnerable in a way that you're not used to. So that way you can get deeper connections. For each of you, it's going to look differently, but the main goal is you getting to a wish fulfillment so you can pour into yourself, so you can feel better about yourself. I want to get to where I want to go, is what I just heard. I want to get to where there's only going to be happy tears. You're letting all the fears go out the window. You're letting all the worries go out of the window. And a lot of people could be shocked by this because there's a, a sense of power that you're harnessing that a lot of people I don't feel thought that you were capable of, mainly because they're not capable of it. And that's that projection. That's that projection, okay? So you're gonna be taking a leap here coming up. It's gonna be a risk. It's gonna be something that I don't feel like you're gonna tell everybody. I feel like you're gonna be keeping a little bit of a secret secret in your life here coming up. And then you're gonna take an abrupt change and it has everything to do with a wish this could be dating someone and you realize not only do i want to date you but i'm crazy about you and this is what i want we're going from zero to 50. people could be shocked maybe you're the kind of person where you ain't dated in five years you might be dating here coming up you might be dating so hardcore that you find the one and you're knee deep in people are going to be shocked <clears throat> this could be a wish or a dream that you're going after that a lot of people don't know about, can't see, can't feel, can't understand. You're going to knock the socks off their feet when you achieve this. But again, you do have other people kind of hovering in your energy, wanting you to give to them, wanting to receive from you, wanting to give to you. But I do think that some of it is unbalanced, especially with the Eight of Cups on the bottom. <clears throat> so there could be a lot of people, <coughs> okay, my throat's starting to go out. So there could be a lot of people that are gonna be attracted to you, lovers, family members, or friends, who are gonna wanna be in your energy. I feel that they're gonna want giving and receiving. They are gonna want a new stable beginning. But I feel that for a lot of you, these are breadcrumbing situations. This is like that lover who breadcrumbed you already. That family member who breadcrumbs you and when you take yourself out of it or they're not treating you or respecting your boundaries, all of a sudden you're toxic and you don't want to fix anything. Someone is going to try to fix something with you, heal something with you. But I think that you're going to recognize that it could be time to leave it behind because you want something bigger. You want something better. You want something more stable. And it's not to say that these people can't bring that. It's to say that it might look different and maybe these aren't your people. That's okay. It's okay to say, okay, this is not my best friend. This is not the love of my life. This is not the family member that I want to spend every holiday with. Because every time I do, I feel like it's all about me giving, 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 giving. I'm tired. I don't have anything else to give. And when I don't give or when they don't get their way, I'm selfish. I'm mean. I'm bitter. I'm vicious. I'm showing up in a way that's toxic. So some of you could be dealing with that. And I think you approaching all of this differently is going to really shock people. Because what you've been doing is not working and you've recognized that. So let me do something different then. And that's what's going to happen. And I think that's going to have people approaching you differently. People who didn't want to compromise. People who have said things behind your back. I'm getting that there is possibly a group of five to eight. They could be individually, but they could be together as a group. They could be talking about you in a way where... The version of you that they knew and the version of you that you are now is not in day. They see you as someone who was very toxic, um, maybe angry, bitter, vicious, malicious. Uh, they didn't view you in a good light. But let's also recognize that nine times out of ten, if there is a toxic scenario, if you don't walk out of it, you're a part of it. And you can sit here all day and go, oh, so-and-so was toxic, okay? But what was, your, what was your part in that? Why didn't you take yourself out of the toxic work environment? Why is it when everybody started arguing, you felt that you needed to put yourself in it? 
maybe because you were a mirror in that that circumstance, that situation, and you needed to learn something. That's what I'm getting here. But I do feel that these people will have the tendency to point at you. And they're going to be pointing here coming up because you're about to shock them. These are going to be people who are going to want to get back in your good graces. But I don't necessarily see that happening. Yeah, I'm hearing the song, so I cut you off. I don't need your love. So that's what I'm getting. It's like, these are people where you were like, no, I never want to see you again. I never want to speak to you again. These could be someone or a group of people who have a problem with respecting boundaries. This could be a group of people who have a problem with understanding you. People don't have to agree with the way that you show up. But they do need to respect it. And if they don't respect it, that's when you have to take yourself out of something. And I feel because you were willing to take yourself out of something, it's really making a lot of people feel a way they don't want to feel. There could be people hoping that you're going to forgive them. These could be people who had red flags. People that you knew you shouldn't have been friends with. People you knew you never should have entertained. Those family members that you heard really bad things about. But no, it's been 10 years. They've changed. I should let them in. Okay, well, we're not a six flag pass holder no more. No, thank you. We're going to leave the rose colored glasses. We're going to see it as what it is. I don't see you really accepting these people back. I see them just being shocked at who you are now. Who you are showing up in your life to be. And because you are having the strength to do that, a lot of justice is going to be coming your way. All right, a little bit more and let's wrap it up. Yeah, there could be a lot of things going on in private, in secret. You making moves in private, in secret. You could be taking a lot of leaps and a lot of risks in private. This could be around a dream. This could be around a new beginning as well. Something that's going to have consistency and stability, but something that you could be scared of going towards. There could be a lot of people shocked as well around the fact that you took a leap towards someone and then it ended up in a bunch of chaos, possibly a competition setting, and lacked stability. That could have been a shock to everyone that you put yourself in that situation, that you desire to be with that person or try to make it work. Yeah, there could be a lot of people that, I feel like this is a past energy, but this could be an energy here coming up. There could be a family group. This could be your children if you have any. These could be your friends. Someone here is gonna be shocked around a leap that you're gonna take, okay? Mainly because these people can see clearly that the person you're going for is not for you. They know that that person's not going to recognize you. They know that there's not really success and victory there, but they want you to have fun in that if that's what you want. But you could have maybe some friends that's concerned about some sort of state that you're putting yourself in. It could be a state of possibly being caught up in some sort of competition, whether it's job competition or a lover competition. Could be family. Family could be trying to make you compete for certain things. And instead of saying, oh wait, this doesn't actually have stability, you could have said, oh wait, but there's a lot of emotion here. So surely that means that there's stability. But then you could have quickly realized, oh wait, I'm dealing with a bunch of wounded people or I'm dealing with someone that's wounded or this is a situation that is wounded and it's not gonna get anywhere. And then you could have quickly realized that there was not success and victory. But you could have shocked people by giving, you could have shocked these people by giving this person the time of day, by welcoming this friend into your group by allowing these family members to try try it again. So I see that as well. Yeah, someone's gonna communicate about having a reunion. Someone's gonna want to reunite. Could be a group of three, could be like a friend dynamic of three. Could be someone that you've just had good times with someone that you have watered those plants with. So you put effort into this person at one time. They're gonna be reaching out and communicating with you. This is a leap, this is a risk. 
they're gonna wanna build a foundation with you. Who is this and what is this? They want success and victory. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Could be someone who really loves and cares for you. So someone's going to be offering here coming up either a chance to go out, to reunite, or to get together. This could be you going out with, I don't know, your aunt, your uncle, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, um, a pair of cousins. They're going to, whoever this is, I feel for a lot of you, this could be like a lover or a friend. It's someone who really cares about you. It's someone who does have genuine love for you. But they could be confused or there could be some sort of illusion around the victory and the success, okay? This could be someone who's going to say that they've changed, but they haven't. So you're needing to do self-reflection on that. People do change, but we can only change so much. So keep that in mind. Someone could be coming back with the, I've changed. Hey, let's meet up. I've not seen you in three, four years. Where have you been? What have you been up to? Yeah, but they don't really have collaboration. See, they're not really a team player. This is that person who wants to meet up because they ain't got nothing better to do. But if they have something, let's say they got to get together, you ain't going to get invited because they're not a team player. This could be someone who doesn't like to be the one that lets things crumble. This could be someone who has the, there are some people in life who doesn't like to let things go. And that includes people. I know of a lot of people who will talk to anyone that they talk to, even if it, even if it crumbled, even if it was bad. Because they don't want to be the bad guy. They don't want to be the one to block or to say F off. They don't want to have that raw emotion to be like, I hope you stub your toe and I don't give a f if it breaks. But then there's not necessarily teamwork. They don't really want to collaborate. They just don't want to be the bad guy. That's kind of what I'm getting here. You could have someone who really cares and loves for you. Family member, friend, could be a lover. Who's going to want to meet up, get together. Hey, let's go get drinks. Let's go on that date. Hey, let's meet up. I ain't seen you in like five years. How's the kids? Again, it could be that cousin or something like that. But what you're not seeing is that this person isn't really an effort person. They're not really going to put in the effort. They just don't like to be the bad guy. They don't like to be the one or the reason that something failed. They're going to talk about... <clears throat> Possibly a union that they have. They could want to talk about their home, what's been going on in their home life, a job. If they have a lover, they're going to want to talk about that. But again, when it comes to actual movement, that's where the confusion and the illusion and the stalemate energy comes in. So if this is a friend, this is that friend you only see once every three years. If this is that lover, this is that lover that comes in, but then they get so preoccupied they don't have time for you ever again. If this is that family member, this is that family member that just reaches out every six years just to kind of know what's going on in your business and they want to tell you what's going on in their business, but you ain't ever talking to them for the next six years. That's what I'm getting. So be aware of that as well. Again, this person does have genuine care. I just feel that they could be a little like head flighty. You know how people will make plans, but then they're very flighty and those plans just kind of go. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, this person could have a lot on their plate with the burdens here. This could be someone who's constantly dealing with um, like quick changes. This could be someone who's constantly dealing with a lot on their plate. They feel like they don't ever get a moment to their self, which could be the reason why you don't see them that much. But again, they don't want to be the bad person. They don't want to be the one to never reach out to you again, which is why they can they keep this consistent, well, let's meet up once every three years. Let's talk once a year kind of thing. So if you know who I'm talking about, you're going to be getting a message from that person here coming up, okay? And I feel that that person could be really shocked around how much you've grown. This could be someone who likes to drink. This could also be someone who uses the B word a lot because I just heard, I just heard, let's go B. So yeah, it could be someone who just uses the B word like it's your first name. Some of us do that, no shade. 
Okay, I'm gonna leave this here. See you tomorrow.